Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh to Miss Faika and all my friends. My name is Razita Yasmin and I would like to present about thoracic spine projection. So first, I will present about AP thoracic projection. So this is the image criteria for true AP. First criteria is the spinal process are aligned with the midline of vertebral bodies. Next, the transverse process are seen laterally. Third, the distance between spinal process and pedicle at both sides are equal. Next, the distance between vertebral body and the mid sternoclavicular end at right and left side are equal. Other than that, we can see the intervertebral D spaces are open and vertebral body are visualized without distortion. Lastly, uh, 7 cervical vertebrae, 1st to 12 thoracic vertebrae, and 1st lemma vertebrae, also 2.5 inch posterior rib, and major sternum of each side of vertebral column are included in the collimation area. So this is a radiograph of AP thoracic projection. I say so because the seven cervical vertebrae to first lumbar vertebrae are visualized in the collimation area. Next, this is AP projection, uh, not uh, PA because the vertebral body are seen without distortion. Second, the spinous process, especially at the T1, uh, is visualized at the inferior aspect of its body. And lastly, the transverse process are seen laterally. For positioning, the positioning in, the, in this radiograph is incorrect because there are rotation. I say so because the distance between particles and spinous process at right side is greater than the left side. Second, distance between vertebral board uh, column to the sternum clavicular end and right side is greater than the left side. So the side that demonstrates a greater distance is the side positioned closer to IR. So because the right side of pedicles and also sternum clavicular end are greater than the left side, so this is RPO, right posterior oblique. So to improve the, the positioning, turn patient's body to the left until both axes is equal distance to the double top. Next is we evaluate the alignment. So first the alignment between s tube and cassette. So the alignment between s tube and cassette cannot be determined because there are no four bodies of collimation. Same with the alignment between s tube and patient also cannot be determined because there are no four bodies of collimation. Meanwhile, the alignment between cassette and patient is incorrect because the distance from the central structure which is T7 to the edge of film superior and inferior also at right and left side is not equal. So the centering point used for this radiograph cannot be determined because there are no four bodies of collimation. But the standard center point for this projection is at uh, 7 thoracic vertebrae. For collimation, collimation should be included at all four bodies. So at superior border structure that should be included are C7, first rib and also clavicle. And inferior border structure that should be include are left and right hemi diaphragm, T12 and first lumbar. For lateral border structure that should be include are posterior rib, costal transverse joint, and also costal vertebral joint. So there are no evidence of radiation protection apparatus seen on the radiograph. After that, exposure factor. So first, KBP. The KBP used in this uh, radiograph is adequate. This is because the bony cortical line of thin structure, which is transverse process, 
can be seen and the bony cortical outline of this structure which is spinous process can be seen. Thus, there are no changes needed. Meanwhile, for MAS, the MAS use is inadequate because the bony trabecular pattern for thin structure which is transverse process is visualized, can be seen, but the uh, the bony uh, trabecular pattern for thick structure which is spinous process is not visualized. So thus to improve the exposure factor, we need to increase the opacity by two times. So it will increase MAS by 50%. So that the markers. So we can see in this radiograph there's an evidence of red marker, but it was overlapped with the structure of interest. So to improve this, the red marker should be placed appropriately, which is not superimposed uh, to a region of interest. For instance, we can see uh, we can uh, put the marker at the top, the top right and left side. For aesthetic value, the film size used cannot be determined, but the film size should be used for this projection is 35 times 43 cm, which is sufficient to demonstrate all structure of interest. From this radiograph, there is an evidence of artifact, which is internal artifact air bubbles. Lastly, name. There is no patient's name, ID, date, and place of examination visualized on the radiograph, but it is excluded for patient privacy. So the information should be placed appropriately, which is not superimposed to the structure of interest. And in conclusion, the radiograph is not acceptable because there is an evidence of rotation because of the wrong positioning. Second, there are incorrect exposure used, which is inadequate MAS. So second projection is lateral thoracic spine projection. So this is the image criteria for true lateral. First, uh, is we can see the intervertebral foramina are clearly demonstrated. Okay. The pedicles are in profile. The posterior surface of each vertebral body are superimposed. The posterior rib separate not more than half inch. So that the intervertebral spaces are open. The vertebral body are seen without distortion. And it includes seven semi-vertebrae. First to 12 thoracic vertebrae and first lama vertebrae within the collimation. So this radiograph is radiograph of lateral thoracic projection. I say so because the intervertebral foramina are clearly demonstrated. The pedicles are also in profile. And lastly, intervertebral disc spaces are open. For positioning, the positioning for this projection is incorrect. I say so because the right and left posterior surface of the vertebral body are demonstrated one anterior to the other. Second, the separation of posterior rib are less than 0.5 inch. These uh, two criteria shows that the thorax has been rotated anteriorly. So to improve this, rotate patient's body posteriorly until the mid coronal plane is perpendicular to the IR. Next for alignment, the alignment between extra tube and cassette cannot be determined because there are no four bodies of collimation. The alignment between extra tube and suspension also cannot be determined because there are no four bodies of collimation. Meanwhile, the alignment between cassette and patient is incorrect because the distance from the central structure, which is T7, to the edge of film at superior and inferior and also at right and left side is not equal. 
The centrum point used for this radiograph cannot be determined, but the standard centrum point for this projection is at the 7 thoracic vertebrae. For collimation, the collimation should include four borders. So, first one is super border structure that should be included are C7, first rib, and clavicle. Uh, for infra border structure that should be included are 12 thoracic vertebrae, first lumbar vertebrae, and also posterior rib. And lateral border structure that should be included are posterior rib, intervertebral foramina, and also anterior rib. From this radiograph, there is no evidence of radiation protection apparatus. For exposure factor, uh, the KBP use is adequate because the bony cortical outline of thin structure, which is posterior rib, can be seen, and the bony cortical outline of thick structure, which is T12, the body of T12, also can be seen. Meanwhile, uh, the MAS use is too much. Uh, because the bony trabecular pattern of thin structure, which is posterior rib, is, cannot be seen, not visualized, but the bony trabecular pattern for thick structure, which is vertebral body of T12, is visualized, can be seen. So the MAS is overexposed. To improve this, we need to decrease MAS by 15%, 15% to decrease opacity by two times. Next marker, there is no evidence of plate marker in the radiograph. This is just a digital marker. So, an anatomical marker should be placed correctly on the left side of body and it should be placed appropriately, which is not superimposed to the structure of interest. For aesthetic value, the film size used cannot be determined. However, the film size should be used is 35 times 43 cm which is sufficient to demonstrate all structure of interest. From this radiograph, there is no evidence of artifact. Lastly, in his name, there is no patient's name, ID, date, and place of examination visualized on the radiograph. But it is excluded because of patient privacy. So it actually should be placed appropriately, which is not superimposed to the structure of interest. So in conclusion, the radiograph is not acceptable because first, there is no evidence of plate marker on the radiograph. Second, there is an evidence of rotation because of wrong positioning. Third, there are incorrect exposure which is too much MAS use. Okay, this is the reference uh, I used for this presentation. So that's all from me. Thank you for watching and sorry for... Oh, my mistake.